shares of Lionsgate surging more than 11 percent today, notching their best day since May. That after saying its stars unit added 1.2 million streaming subscribers in the latest quarter. The entertainment company also posting better than expected earnings and revenue. We're now joined by Michael Burns, vice chairman of Lionsgate. Michael, great to see you again. It's been too long. Melissa, well, nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Um, the uh, earnings report was good across the board, according to a lot of the analysts on the street. The stock, you see that it uh, respond to it up 10 percent. But it seems like the dominant issue right now, at least in the analyst community and Wall Street community, is is the carriage issue with Comcast and what's going on there. Um, there is one firm that actually cut its price target because of the uncertainty surrounding whether or not stars would be on Comcast in part of the bundle, or would it be an extra surcharge for subscribers? So what's the latest there? Well, we're, it's sort of a head scratcher for us, actually, uh, Melissa. We have been a great supplier to Comcast for quite some time, and it is a great value proposition that we give them, and ultimately that they pass on to their subscribers. So it's odd for us that they would be saying, or we're going to take you out of the bundle, we're going to put a couple channels that we own and another one in that bundle, uh, yet we're not going to give a discount or a rebate back to the customers. Uh, they say that, well, you can go ahead and get it through Amazon or, or some other place, which is sort of disingenuous because what happens is they're, they're in that particular case in an underserved community of people. I mean, if half Americans can't uh, afford to write a $500 check, half of American families. And so to say, oh, yes, uh, we're going to take it out of the bundle. You're going to continue to pay for it as if it's there. And then on top of that, go get some, uh, go get our broadband, go get some equipment. Uh, and you can subscribe to Amazon Prime, which is going to be another 120 some dollars a month. And we're also going to charge you an a la carte fee. That doesn't make sense to us. Okay. Um, the importance of, of this agreement to stars is, a, is big. About 40% of domestic stars EBITDA is uh, from Comcast, just about a third of domestic subs. Um, the warning is that December 10th is when this could, they could, uh, I was going to say cut the cord, that's not quite the right terminology, but they could take stars off uh, of the bundle. When was the agreement going to go to? Wasn't it just going to be to the end of the year anyway? Well, they're saying December 10th. Our deal goes yeah. until the end of, uh, end of December. Again, that's sort of an odd uh, thing for us because if you go on the Comcast, Comcast website today and you look at Xfinity, you can sign up and one of the two or three of the big bundles they're selling or they're marketing on their website includes STARS, which says, okay, if you sign up for a one or two year deal, STARS is included in that pricing. And then what does that mean? At the end of, end of December, all of a sudden it disappears? So that to me seems rather disingenuous. Has Lionsgate been trying to get the DOJ to open a formal investigation into this whole thing? Uh, and have you, is there an informal investigation going on in which you are cooperating with the DOJ? Well, I, I read the New York Post like everybody in New York <laughs> seems to, to, to read. Uh, I think that they've got letters from very prominent U.S. senators, very prominent uh, Congress people around the country. The oddest thing for us is if you really take a look at the business roundtable, which I know that the Comcast people uh, uh, were uh, uh, signers on, they talk about taking care of their suppliers, their customers, and their communities. This sort of flies in the face of that. So um, do I think that the DOJ is looking into it? Uh, I would say that th that would be a question for them. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that if I were working at the DOJ and I was getting letters from U.S. senators and from Congress people, as well as consumer groups out there, uh, I might take a look at that. All right. Um, we should note that Comcast is the parent company of this network, uh, just for housekeeping matters. In, in terms of how this all plays into the streaming wars, Michael, it seems like some people are saying that, you know, maybe, maybe this is a great time for you to spin stars or to sell it. You can reduce debt. Um, you can get out of the streaming wars entirely and focus on content. Content is king in this sort of streaming war scenario. Well, what would you say to that? Is that a possibility? Our job. Yeah, John, John talked about this on the conference call yesterday. One of our, our jobs here is to highlight the value of what we put together. And if you take a look at what Lionsgate and Stars can do together, whether it's an international launch where we're in 50 countries right now, you couldn't do that. Uh, Stars couldn't do that without uh, Lionsgate, the 17,000 title library, and the ability to distribute this around the globe. So the industrial logic of what we're doing makes a great deal of sense. Yes, the world in some cases is moving to a la carte, 
And again, that you have to, you're, we're looking for a thoughtful transition, and that's what most of our partners have been doing. Uh, the people can take the bundle or they can, they can get it a la carte. But for us, we believe the industrial logic of what we put together uh, is, uh, is, is working. All of our core businesses are going, and uh, very qu quite well. I'm happy to report it looks like, I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like Midway will be the number one movie opening this weekend. That's a surprise. And the film business, as you saw from our numbers, that Joe Drake and his team, they've turned that around nicely. Television is, is you know, crushing it. Um, and so we are this giant creator of content, and it really comes down to having great people and, and creating great content, content and, and Lionsgate is certainly doing that. Michael, great to speak with you. Thanks for your time. Melissa, thanks so much. Michael Burns, Vice Chairman of Lionsgate. What do you do here with Lionsgate? It's been a tough two years. I mean, yeah. we, get, we, we love Michael Burns, obviously, but you look at the stock. I mean, this was a $32 stock, I think, in January 2018. You see where we are now, despite even the move today. I mean, it's less than 10 bucks. The quarter, if you look at the numbers, the quarter was outstanding. You can make an argument the valuation is extended. I get it. But I still continue to believe it's too valuable, valuable of a property to be, proper to be, property to be trading as poorly as it had for the last 20 or so months. How much is Netflix spending on content this year? Eight billion? What, what, was, the, what was the number? Higher. It's a market a, cap <coughs> of, of uh, Alliancegate is two billion. Sounds to me like they should be hitting this from a different angle, and maybe they get put, instead of being the acquirer, get acquired by somebody else, and then you have a ready-to-make shop right there, and you've got some content, you've got the studios in place. These things aren't easy to do, and it sounds like a no-brainer to me.